Good morning, good morning, bright and early today. Well, I'm in a very magical place. It's called St. Pete's Beach. It's on the west side. No, the yeah, the west side of Florida. I had to think for a minute. It's a little early. And um, I came to visit an amazing woman with another amazing woman. And um, it's been so glorious. And I just... I just want to give you a little brief. So right now I'm basically in like a block away between the bay and the ocean. And I just want to show you this because it's so beautiful. So the sun is there and the bay is right there. And um, this is where I am right now. And I'll just kind of walk you through it uh, for a minute. And um, I woke up a little early today, like at 6, which is usually not my M.O. Look how the sun is coming out. It's just shining now to the ocean. It's so pretty. Look at this. I don't want to move too fast. Anyway, I'm moving into uh, this beautiful beach. And um, look at this. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. They call this the capital of the sunset or the city of sunset not it's not a city but the capital of the sunset or something like that anyway all good and I have the beach pretty much but for myself it's so fun look at the, all the shells it's full of shells so pretty so gorgeous and I just wanted you to hear the water with me for a minute look at this And um, I'm putting my earphones and let's see if you can hear me. Alright, I really trust that you do. Um, I see someone here. So I'm gonna walk for a little bit and um, so I had two, three amazing days here. With amazing women having the most glorious time in a beautiful place and you know I have a lot going on there's um, I'm gonna be doing a lot in my business um, I'm launching something really fun and powerful that's coming out for you and so I woke up super early today and I'm like, oh my God, like I have to do this and I have to do that and then I have to do that and then I have to contact this and then I have to do that. I mean, it, there's so many things that I'm doing. Um, I'm planning on writing a book, by the way, so I want to let you know. I already found the perfect place. It's going to be in Miami. We're going to do a live event, a live retreat, a two, three day retreat in Miami in September. So that's coming and it's pretty like holy cannoli it's, it's happening and so I woke up at six after you know two beautiful days of relaxation and like my mind started racing and I'm like oh my god I have to do this so when that happens and when you start because I started to feel overwhelmed very easily when we start feeling overwhelmed and when we start feeling like the mind's racing and what do you do? What do you do at that time? Right at that very moment when that happens, at six in the morning, I can't do anything, right? Like if the doing is what I need to do and I need to call so and so and I need to respond an email, there is no point for me to give my power to my thoughts and my racing thoughts, okay? So, you know, I was like, okay, so what did, I, what did I do? I took, I got my angel card. It helps me ground, that's why I do it. Not to just receive the message from the outside, but to help me connect with the inside. All of these tools that we have are for us to come back home to ourselves, not to give, like to have them give us the answer, if that makes sense. I really want 
want you to start thinking about this and training yourself to make sure that everything that you're doing and everything that is outside of you is just an invitation to come home to you, to your wild woman, to know what it is, to know what's going on within you. And so that's what I did. I took my angel car because I know it brings me back, my goddess car, better said, to bring me back home to myself. And then that led me to, oh my God, I'm like a block from the beach. Why don't I just go to the beach for a beach walk? And here I am. So now I'm not, I didn't give my power to my mind and I didn't continue to feel the anxiety, the overwhelm that could come if I don't stop the racing mind. Does that make sense? So now I'm taking a walk and I felt inspired to share this message with you, which makes me feel purposeful and also takes me away from those racing thoughts, connecting with nature, right? Connecting with nature, connecting with something that makes you feel good. I am going to meditate and yeah, so that's it. That pretty much now I'm going to connect back to myself which is ultimately what I need because it is from here that everything else, that my reality is going to be reflected in how I feel within myself. And when we are in that place, back in our place in alignment, in our harmony, what happens is that we are going, then things rearrange themselves because we are in that energy and we're emanating that energy from within. Does that make sense? So whenever you find yourself that you are, I'm just gonna turn around. Whenever you find yourself that your mind is racing or your thoughts are wanting to eat you, right? Like it feels like, like they wanna eat you. All I invite you to do is to connect with things that will bring you back home to you. Perhaps it's to listen to this <laughs> recording. Perhaps it's to sit, shut your eyes and breathe. Perhaps it's to read something that inspires you, like a mantra or, um, or a quote or something that you know is going to bring you back. And those tools are the tools that you need to have handy because it's, you're setting yourself up for for coming back home and igniting your wild woman. This is a lot of what we do in all my programs. And of course, things keep coming up when you are in a, immersing yourself in a growth or personal development journey, you know, things are gonna come back. But what I'm giving you right now is whenever you, there's your thoughts and your mind is racing and you know there's a lot of things that you need to do, you start feeling overwhelmed and then if you keep riding that overwhelm what's going to happen is that you're going to start feeling fear and scare and you're going to be smaller and smaller and smaller and then it's just not going to work out okay so setting yourself up for breathing being at the beach enjoying this beautiful paradise is where then things can really come back you come back home to you and from there you can make different decisions and from there you can create different things all right so I'm saying sending you so much love and telling you that I woke up super early today and I didn't give my power away to fear or overwhelm instead I chose to come out to the beach to show you this beauty and to trust i'm just making a conscious choice to trust that everything is gonna be okay and all i can do in the present moment is to be as happy and as connected and as fulfilled as i am and from there i'm gonna start spiraling up that's the key that's the secret to the secret i really trust that this serves you and now the beach is has a lot of people so um yeah, I'm just sending you so much love and so much beauty. We're infinite. I mean, how can I think? Look at all these shells here. How can I think of fear? How can I think of um, 
luck when there's this, right? You get it? Okay, sending you so much love. I cannot wait to tell you what is, uh, we're creating so many things for you and um, I really trust we're, we're gonna be doing a wild woman challenge. That's it, I can't tell you anything else, but it's gonna be amazing and you're gonna love it. And I can't wait to have fun together and really connect teach you how to connect with your wild woman how to meet this part of you that it's always been there and that it's so so looking forward to meet you as well Mwah. sending you so much love <laughs>